Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to our Immortal Empires preview let's play as we continue with Draw Mink from turn 15. So last time we started our war against Deathmaster Snitch in Singpu, and we'll continue this war as we look to push out the rats from Grand Cathay for good. He has expanded quite a bit and we have some work to do. Our armies need to stay here to finish recruitment and healing. Meanwhile, hmm. We're just going to build this. We technically want this, but I'm not sure if we can build it yet. Oh, we can. Because we can do the young building here. We can upgrade this here. Match it up with the in building here. That's perfect. I know we had this uh, civic building that was in, but we didn't need a civic building. We need an industry building, so this is good. We prefer to keep in the first slot or the lowest slot you have because that way if we get raised, it doesn't affect our harmony. Likewise, we probably just hold out here for the four pop. Not the most efficient way because you do get more growth and income by leveling these up. But I don't really see... I don't really see this as a great way to spend our population to be honest. Hmm. I'd rather get these two slots, and then we can put some advanced military buildings down and finally get some heroes. I think that's more important. So we'll wait here. All right, our caravan did get wrecked. Our previous one's not back, so we got to hire a new one. Another ogre ally, rough riders. So cavalry's not that strong. What we're going to do is we're going to stash this group as same as this. We want the 5% with the Ogre Alliance, which will come in handy in the future. And we're going to send them out. So this route looks dangerous now, knowing who's there. And let's try Frozen Landing instead. The dragon expects I and that's pretty much everything we need to do this turn. City Commander, we shall prosper in unison. Okay. Eventually we will fight them, but this looks like an easier fight. This looks like a a minor faction, or at least a weaker faction than a playable one. Oh. I I selected multiple because they're Vassals of each other? Seems like it, but we're getting lots of points where I can even get a defensive alliance if I want. I guess so. I guess I want relationship to be with really high with them. So that they will eventually... Wait a second. Where is this settlement? One of the newer ones. Mingzhu. Okay, screw the cash. Screw the defensive alliance. And the military axis. Actually, that's helping. We'll pay. And we'll pick up another piece of land. Sounds like a deal. Our balance might be off. No, actually, it's not off. They built it, uh, I don't want to say well, because I don't like that building. I also don't like this building, but I think we're not going to swap it at this point. We're going to demolish this when we get a chance. So what's most likely going to happen is as we pick this up next turn, we put in the demolish order next turn so that we get rid of it in and we get an in point and that balances itself naturally. Is there any good buildings here? No, it's a pretty generic one. It's okay. We want to expand every chance we have. We are at war with them, but I think Even they're down to a couple settlements. Can I? So that's their only settlement, I'm assuming. Can I get... 
I'm not going to be able to expand into that. I don't think so. Let's take a look. Do we have time for it? Oh, man. It's a different province that's owned by mostly our sister, who is probably going to wipe them out. So I think this is the right move. Close. Come on. There we go. I can sign this, actually. It's not gonna change anything. We are it's free money, basically. I don't think we can confederate them, even though they are cafe faction. Ooh, speaking of confederate, we could, but they're not willing. Mainly because we were at war, but here... They're willing to join us with five settlements. They're at war with the Ogre faction we were fighting, Clan Eshin and Jiangshu. So it's the same situation, we basically pick up a lot of land. That seems like a great deal. May your ancestors watch over you. The ancestors smile. All right. We picked up way too much stuff that we need to get rid of. Why would I dirty my hands with the likes of you? Red Fleet, Spirit of the Jungle, who should be defensive. I mean, eventually, Dead Flag Fleet, probably easier to fight in this case. Hmm, just because we don't want to pay up. That's okay. We're going to kick out all these factions from Cathay eventually. So it's not a bad thing. Defensive alliance with ogres. That's what we're looking for, even though I'm not sure if they will survive very long. At least he's not in a war, but he's not willing to trade with me. Hmm. I might wait till we get Goldtooth to budge. Alright. We are not very balanced. <laughs> not even close. That's fine. We're gonna fix that. So currently we're at four point in. Let's take a look at all the land we got and see how we need to approach this. That's gotta be demolished. We don't want that. That's gotta be demolished. We don't want that. This we can keep. So we're already two point in down. What else did we get? And we know we don't want this. That's a good excuse to get rid of it. We're three points in down. It's the army situation. Right, we got him. He's worth three points right now. Which means we fire him. I think that's the only army he had. He must have lost a big fight. Which is why we were able to grab him there. Oh yeah. We picked up his wounded characters as well. We have a five turn confederation cooldown effect, which is fine. Uh, the control is actually a bit painful. And the fact that we're deleting so many inbuilding now doesn't really work. We can't do it in mass. We can't do leave three. Mm, we can't delete one though. This should be the control one for now, given our current control situation. We might all have to go to control just for these couple turns. That's definitely fine. So that means we should come here and grab this soon. That way we complete this province as well. I kind of want to fix this. That's like an auto balance. And then maybe we wait on these. Because we can build it in, build it in, demolish it in, demolish it in, and it will be balanced. That's probably what we should do. This is also a very odd because we are only going to have this building 
Because that slot's going to be a resource. Okay, I think that's pretty much how we're going to do it. We're going to end the turn imbalanced. It's not what we like to do. But without access to any heroes right now, it's what we have to do. Yeah, diplomacy is nice. Very nice. We basically have to pay attention to this frequently. Let's continue. I hope the Jiangshu rebels... Oh, they are moving fast. We have not declared against them yet. But it's a matter of time at this point. Can we zoom out real quick? We don't have a lot of vision by ownership. So these three that are MTR are Skaven, so these are Snitch. This is the Celestial Loyalist, that's the Rebel, that's our sister. Down here, that's the Burning Normads? Yeah, I don't know why I was saying Jiangshu, because these are clearly them. That's the Wood Elves, that's the One Forest Territory. Serpent, Estuary, probably got torn down by Nakai, I'm guessing. Unless he went this way. We'll see. I'm planning to confederate them as well. I'm pretty sure we can do it. We'll see how long this river faction lives for Cathay. But these are our next enemies after we move out the Skavens. About them. Probably should just destroy them. Anyways. Lots of enemies. We could consider a second army. Our economy just took a big jump. Ah, matter of time, right? Became neighbors, declare war on us. Very natural. Dark Elves. Constructor... Yeah, we probably will get a lot of that going forward. Did they say... Turtles under attack? Okay, turtle gates. The desert alchemist. Hmm, we're back to balance, which is good. I can leave, and the events will still push this corruption down, which is good. I'm a little worried about bumping into an uh, ambush, but I, I don't think we have a choice. I don't think we can take it too slowly. We just won't march. That's as conservative as we can get. That's an easy upgrade. So if we build a young building here, then a in building here, plus one. Yeah, we're not going to touch that, so we're going to end up building this one first. Which kind of goes against our philosophy, but it's fine. So that's the one extra, right? We're one in point extra. And then one in point down, we're back to neutral. We lose one in point. We get one in research, we're back to neutral. So that fixes everything. And that means as long as we build opposite value, we're fine. So if we go young here, we go in here, and then we're solid. We'll upgrade this. Five turns. Is it worth waiting? Or should we actually just get this? Because the population is going to get bounced back pretty quickly as well. I'm going to just build it. I'm not going to wait. We can upgrade the buildings to tier 3, which has value in itself. Carbon. Carbon. Charge. Mm, I mean, they are willing, but I'm not sure if I'm willing. Armies moved out. We should consider that second army potential. Not here, but... Maybe we move him up to here. 
someone has to fight them. We secured the relationship with this group of Vampire Gorst, so we might as well move him here. Or if we're even a little bit more conservative, maybe here first. Potentially we could lose these, right? Hmm, what is this? Storm. Army passing here will suffer attrition? It's temporary or is it like always here? That's interesting. Anyways, let's continue. I need to find Snitch's armies. Wasn't expecting three. Plus the garrison, I guess. Now, do we want to fight potentially a defensive fight? Because we could. There's a couple ways we can... Oh, already? Right. So this building is not happening, which means we're not balanced because that building never completed. I just want this. Our imbalance is really bad. I don't really need to worry about that. It's not really my problem. Hmm. How do we fix balance? We could fix it by taking this. Should we... How should we fight them? That's the question. Oh, all three are not... Snitch, he has a fourth army. Probably a full stack. Alright, how do we do this? I mean, this army is fine because we can fight them here with our main army. We need to be an uh, inbuilding. That's what we're missing. Let's get that. So we technically can't build this. Building now are just spending more money because the fact that we don't have the heavy building discount from being in harmony. I might just wait. There's always the chance that this has what we need in terms of building. Yeah, maybe we should just gamble instead of fighting the armies. We're going to have to fight this to make sure we take no casualty. Or minimum casualty. Ah, uh, it's this underground map again. Not the best. Two slingers, everyone else is melee. Clan rats, Skaven slaves, mostly. I think that's a knight. Runner? No, that's probably a Skaven Slave Slinger. Okay, it's not advanced as the map that we fought earlier, so... Actually, no, we just fought up this side. <laughs> it's the same map. Um, is this a good side again for us? This twist and turn wasn't that great. But this little ramp does offer quite a nice spot for us to hit. Like, we can kill units on there pretty easily, which I did like. I feel like with the angles that we saw, this unit can probably kill that unit just by firing. Which is a little ridiculous, if you ask me. It's gonna be a lot of him. <laughs> we got regen, so we have to do most of the work for the team. That's just the way it is. Do we see nobody? There's the tower they built. We are going to wait 30 seconds and then take it out. Oh no, 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 I knew it. No, no. Uh, can we just hit it? Actually, actually, can we just hit it? Is it in our range? It is, right? 
It's it's high. It's like tall, so maybe not. Alright, we're gonna go back first. There's no point to get hit for free. We'll go take a peek at where the enemy actually are. He should be hitting us now. Oh, we see them now. And yeah, whatever we can hit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Summon? Must be a summon. Yep. Yeah. There's no way I didn't see him. Yeah, they got wrecked. We're also not balanced, so we don't get a free summon. It's tragedy time. Feels like our army should just back off. Because any type of casualty is not acceptable. And really, this is a solo operation. Hide in the back, everyone to the corner here. Can we destroy this? There we go. Let's go kill them. We got the natural regen, we got the regen healing potion. Our, our health cap is going to be our only limit here. I want their melee units to swarm me so I can burn them. Oh, there we go. We see them now. Aside from their couple of slingers, they can't really touch me. Like when I'm in the air and stuff. No, charge through, charge through. Give me a lot of friendly fire too. Let's use the bound. Do we need air for that? Uh, I'm gonna use that. We don't see the healing cap yet. It's not gonna even worry. The tower is back though, which is a little annoying. Can we just route you guys. Back to full. Where's the rest of their units? Are they just all guarding the gates? Because our units are outside? I mean, we can't capture, that's our weakness. It's most likely gonna bounce back. Yep. Just like them. We're gonna ignore towers. They can't do that much damage to us. Found another one. All right, we got a bunch of them coming together. I'm gonna actually fly up. Not, oh, can I fly up? No, not allowed. Get some distance runway, there we go. Just so I can cast this.
Uh, cancel that. Oh, this is a fresh unit. Ooh, I see the healing cap. Let's see if I transform back, if it takes it away. Yep, it's a new healing cap. Let's do it. Stay in human form for a little bit. I mean, we're not as big, so there's not going to be a lot of splash damage, but... I think if we transform back later, we get the healing cap reset again. Let's see if that's true. Nope, that's not true, actually. So we're going to have to just go back to human to get full heal later. I mean, it's legit a dragon versus rats type of fight. I don't mind burning myself. Do miss Melian's healing though. Well, I don't see a healing cap. I do think we're missing too much health. I wonder if I should dragon form. Hold on. We have time in this fight. No, only 16 minutes. Never mind. There's just too many towers hitting us. I want to go back and heal. That's what I want to do. Ow, ow, ow. Stop hitting me. Alright, so our, our human healing cap is visible, but we can get it to that point, which is nice. Units, it's your turn. They're softened up. Sure, they have towers and stuff, but see if you can finish them off. Can we get another charge? Alright, at least we chain routed this area. No, you come back. Chase that, chase that, chase that. Guess we lost vision. Give us, give us the route. 
Guess barely have any leadership. I think that's it. Oh, okay. All right. We got through it. They didn't lose any entities, so we technically get a full heal. I think they started out 18. And I think that's acceptable. Yeah, if there weren't three armies staring at us outside, we wouldn't have to do this, but no choice here. Hopefully the settlement bring us back to neutral. That's the most important thing. Celestial Empire ever grows. We are back to neutral. Iron Dragon. Perfect building. Perfect building. Okay. That means we don't need to build this. We're actually we we built this, but we combo it with this, and we can build everything that we want now because the discount is in. All right, so that's good. Lord Definitely a need for a second army, especially with this situation. We're ready for the Skaven Onslaught. They're definitely coming. Of the Jade Swarm. We got the garrison <laughs> barely alive. Um, should we step outside and fight a land battle? I think so, actually. I am not sure what map it will be. It's definitely not the underground map that we just fought, but even above ground. Actually, we'll stay inside. I'm just worried they might siege us, which just attritions us. And then we have to sally out anyways. Like, we're gambling whether three Skaven armies are afraid. I guess I guess they're probably not going to be afraid. They're probably going to be brave and go for it. Oh, we could change this to get celestial intervention in that fight. That would kill a lot of rats. And we're about to recruit an army. And casualty replenishment makes sense. And we'll still get the growth bonus for a while. Let's do it. Since we're fighting non cathay factions in Cathay land, our land, that can turn things around. Just a quick check. Well, they're very eager. About these two factions, though. We have treaties with them, but we're entering this later. So, like, we weren't part of this original declaration. They're not going to drag us into this war. And we can get a trade deal. I'm sold. Now, can I build an outpost? Oh, they updated this menu. Blood Peak. Okay, we can build an outpost. That's good. We'll spend that money. We can get ogre units, which, you know, for us makes perfect sense. We have the discounts. And now the diplomacy kicks in for the caravans we've been stashing. All right, this is the big test of them attacking us here. No, into raiding position. Four armies now. Maybe Snitch is here? They gave us one turn to heal. He's asking us to join war. He's existing. We can decline this. Four rats. I think I saw Snitch. Take take a take a, take a cavalry. This caravan's completely useless. So we got 40 points relationship build up with Old Tooth. It's gonna trend towards that. Yes, yeah, so we're going over 150 very soon. 
Might. So hopefully that baseline ticks up to positive and we can get this deal done. Alright, we're in tip-top shape. Everything's balanced. We have the right compass direction to push back. Get all the buildings sorted out. Looks like the Blessed Dread are not interested in actually pushing the assault. They're just sieging, which is interesting considering... Such a thing is oh, we got the flood of the Jiangshu coming in. Zombies. So, we have time to get here. We're selling out on these, right? Basically, that's our strategy. I'm okay to lose... The Bridge of Heaven, which actually has a one young point, which is not good, because it leads to m imbalance. So we have room for some mercenary recruitment. But I think right now we're just interested in getting some of these. I think we give them the global as well. Actually, it's much more expensive global to recruit the range, so we'll do two here, three here. It's only one turn global? Alright, so the army's gonna size up. We're basically defending here with this group, right? So we don't need to be too fancy. Is Snitch here? I think this is Snitch. No, it's not. Where is Snitch? Okay, if we're fast, we can go rescue them. The Iron Dragon. Anything that can help us here. I mean, I guess giving our peasant long spearmen some extra melee attack would be the best thing. Is They're not going to run, right? No way they run away. Get out of my mind. The Celestial. Blacksmith. I mean, we're even favored. We got the garrison, but I don't eat them. No. Oh, well, that's an interesting thing, because... No, 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 it's going to be the same. No, we actually turn it off, so there's 20 units on the screen at one time. Instead of allowing double. That way they come in 20 at a time, we fight them in waves. Because that's the difference with large armies. Um, that looks like high ground. We need to find a really good place for that fire rain, and it can do damage. It needs to do damage because we're fighting five, eight thousand rats. Oh, that's not cool. I might take this corner if the terrain's good, just to stay away from the reinforcements. I don't want them to, like, pour into my face. Let's see how it goes. Um... Yeah, we literally have to, like, look at the ground. This is like putting and golf right now. Like, is there a chance we can, like, splash onto our own troops? That's, like, our only concern here. Now, this terrace is not bad, to be honest, if this wasn't here. Wow, oh, we're hugging the waters. This is a beautiful place. I mean, we could put the cannons up here. I, I assume that's deployable, right? Yeah. I can put the cannon up here. There's no way they splash onto us down there. And we just set up a defensive line here around it. Very thick. A lot of spears. I think we'll be totally fine. That garrison group, we basically don't, don't care about them. They shouldn't really arrive on scene. Well, unfortunately, we have two because we got messed up last time. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. He's fine. He's fine. 
Oh no, you tell me I can't I can't get up here. It is fated. Seeking Cathay's foes. Oh come on. I mean that's still elevated. With joy. I mean we're in the zone. This is in the zone. Why can't I be on this elevation? Alright. It's just deceiving this map. I'm gonna tell them to not fire a will. I'm gonna try to command them. I think that's still the better option. Oh, this is really tight. Like, this is all not areas that we can actually deploy. What's the farthest here? See, that seems like... See, this, this part is actually not walkable. I mean, it's good news for us. Because we can pack our units really tight here. And also in the forest, which is pretty good. They will have range. Clan Etchen's more the skirmishing type. They do have range units with like armor piercing. Move in formation. Repositioning. Bringing harmony. Long spear. Order and balance. Bringing harmony. With joy. I think I think we got it. Everyone has a little spot. Some thicker than others. We're gonna pick on some of them first. The only problem is these two don't actually get the in bonus because they're too far out. So are these. We just need to put our archers a little bit closer to the front. They're still too far up. And don't be too far up. Stack on top of each other. That bonus is very important. We're gonna try to pick on, like, stranglers when we can. We're not as much of a lord killer as our sister. She has a bunch of passive that, like, take away melee attack and melee defensive lords when nearby. We don't have that. I'm gonna take a look at the cannon placement. It, it looks like there's no way we kill our own units, right? Okay, maybe get these out of the way. Juicy single unit here. The problem is we're attacking them, and I, I have a feeling this battle might take longer than 40 minutes. I'm gonna fast forward this one actually. I don't want to get shot by their... Oh, barely hurts. We'll save our Winds of Magic for later. Once again, I really wish trees burned in Warhammer. Fire abilities would be so much better. Hold our fire. Fateful 
We'll herd them in, preferably in a tight area, and just pound them. I like this little area. Right after the tree. We know they're there. I could hit the tree line, but it's not going to be very rewarding. I, mean, I think we can find a better shot. What are they waiting for? One unit shot us? I mean, they have too much ammo for us to try to droog all of it. 22. I don't know the hesitation. Just come into our range. Get some good shots here. They didn't fire yet. They didn't move forward. Oh, they're firing. Good. Yeah. Getting tremendous value, so we can get them to pile up a bit more. I don't know why they're not charging us. That's what I'm curious. We have the range advantage with the siege weapon. Technically, they should just charge us. At least that's how I think the AI should be programmed. That looks like a juicy target for us to go down and just wipe here. Alright, that first wave looks like they're coming. We're gonna save our ammo. We've got plenty of frontline to actually fight them. Like, our stats are juiced once we get the harmony boost. And I can double the harmony boost if I transform back. Oh, they're casting spells on us. Uh, infantry, though, that's fine. Just do it. I mean, we're not the only ones with magic. This should be relatively accurate and fast, I hope. Fire. Why is the second one not firing? Another one? Yeah. It's going to be danger close, but at least I think I can draw them all to that area right now with the way I'm tacking. And hopefully we'll make a big splash here. Come on, guys. Come on. I'm baiting here with my health. There we go. Come on! That's the perfect time. Shoot it! There we go. Only one guy, though. Where's the other guy? I wonder if I just fly back, would they actually charge us? Am I the only reason they're not charging?
I think they're about to come. Oh, another one. Here they come. Now, we're not going to let them hit our front line that easily. As wide as possible to absorb the moose. That's okay. Yeah, hit our summon unit with that. Please do. Uh oh, that one's going to hurt. Okay, we're going to come back, mainly to transform, back to human form. Fight as one. I think I'm going to be too slow for that shot. They already moved down? Uh, I don't feel good about this. Okay, at least we can hit our own units. Come on, come back here. Move back up. Wait, why are we stuck? I feel like we're stuck. Are we grounded? Yeah, never mind. I know why we're stuck. And you're routing? I don't know why they charged up. I didn't give any attack commands. I think I can move now? Perfect. Oh my god, non-stop? Sure. Did I get frozen in place again? It's the warp gate. Effect air? Alright, go, go, go. Let me get back. I just want to transform. Don't make me. Okay, I can move again. Alright, let us whoop him. Yeah, all our stats are juiced. We'll be fine. We're here to pound their range units. Should we just rocket this? Or comet this? This is a lot of units. Worried about this guy. Oh! Get them. <laughs> they all died. <laughs> Literally all died. Look at that one comet. And they run. Alright, kill him, please. Alright, so he's about to run. Is he running away? He's not running away yet. Okay. We'll kill him then. I still have three shots. You don't really want a piece. Oh, they got the Lord with him. I was like, he doesn't really want a piece of me. I'll go after that guy. Alright, we got him. Go, go after him now. Let him run. Got 
guys. Formation attack doesn't mean you block your liege. Blocking your dragon lord. Yeah, I'm going to go after the weak ones. Right, the reinforcements are here. It'll take them a while to file into the front line here. If we can kill him, I'm sure we'll army loss the new reinforcement groups. Go after that, let the archers take care of it. That's our guy. <laughs> what about those? Come on, get him. Oh, maybe a juicy target. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. And they also moved up for no reason. camera there we go this guy has not fully routed and why are the archers not punishing this make sure you do not chase Alright, so he's routed. I'm gonna go after the other lord. Alright, so he's good. Stop. I don't think he's gonna do anything to us. Now this is their assassin, I think. He's gonna be strong against lords, I'm assuming. Not a lot of armor. As a range attack? Has good stats. 70 melee attack, 50 melee defense. Ow. He's he's not easy to kill. Is he buffing that by anything? No. Is he debuffing us? Yeah, he weeping blade. It's not like we have a ton of armor. We should win this. He bounced back, it's okay. Oh, we weren't microing him. Oh, at least we're still in the air. Good, good, good. They bounce back. All the way over here. How are we doing? Looking good, looking good. He's about to rout. Let's take care of him first, then. One at a time. He's still throwing his range spell at my units. Killing some uh, useless peasants. Alright, getting that done. He should be throwing it at me, actually. I wonder if I can hit him at close range with this. It's not letting me. 
Nah, it's too close. Three hundred health. Can we finish him. He's routing, but he's not dead. We haven't hit him. He's still three hundred eight. Lord of Shenyang. Child's play. Oh, now he's trying to hit me. I'm floating a lot, but not actually hitting him. We just like try to kick him. Oh, that actually hit. We could just stop chasing him. Or we got him? No, that missed. Got him. Wait, can I hit him from this distance? That should be okay, right? Yep. Alright, beat them. We can just leave. Rocket battery. Attack in unison. We kill them. Are we ever gonna get this shot? I doubt it. Repositioning. You think you can fight me? Goodbye. Look at them change routes instantly. Harmonious rock. Dragon God. Uh, what are you guys doing? Cavalry. We're gonna just hover and heal back. We did our part. Three lords defeated. This is the only one that's still around. Maybe we'll let him live. Wind and fire. Never conquered. Warriors. Spears. Captain goes out without Warriors. Ah, this is from the garrison. We routed the we lost the unit, so the garrison unit came. I was like, I still have my two jade jade. Units, how did we get a third one? That's where you go in. And make sure they never come back. Yeah, we're definitely upgrading to uh, Sky Junk, the first chance we have. Now, why don't they all land? I don't understand. Oh, poison stuff. Warp fire. Okay. We got ourselves a dangerous fella here. Gonna need you guys to charge them to make sure they don't touch our infantry. Is that the most dangerous unit so far? That might be it. Okay, you guys got your target. Charge that. I'll join you guys. Oh, that charge damage. My gosh. Yeah, we're gonna just escort them off the field here. Nice and easy. We got ourselves a enemy hero. I mean, range units were persistent here. That 
leadership shifting left and right here. I want to cast a couple things. Alright, I'll stay here. You stay on the chase. Make sure they don't bounce back. That's annoying, but I don't think we can do much about it. Unless our cannon wants to work with us here. Look at that. They don't really want to work with us. Please don't friendly fire. Just, just... He's gonna fire, but just please don't kill us. He's turning the wrong way. Okay, no friendly fire. Yeah! He's still up the wrong way. I'm gonna kill that hero. Come on, don't let them go, don't let them go. I don't think we can do much here. Now, is this time to charge up, maybe? Into the range units? Or do we just hole up here and grind off their front line as it goes? Kill him. I mean, we're still like three, four defensive lines thick. If I can just get a good shot, it's not that hard. Just twist and fire. Yeah, don't move forward. That's right. Got one shot. Just use it. And that'll be great. Oh, perfect. That's it. This unit is also done. Now he's just the in buff. That's our garrison unit. We got another garrison unit because we routed off again. Charge. Make sure you kill him. Hundred health. He should die. It's very punishing, but I think we're just gonna take it at this point. Mines as one. We obey. Ten health. Someone dive down there, get him. One health? Cavalry. Dead. Perfect. Go kill this group. Hmm, looking at the situation, the fact there's six minutes left. We're gonna unleash on them. These are just rats at the end of the day. Nothing but rats. Move 
Dragon Guard. I think we can transform back. Get a bigger heal cap. Yep. Mm, I don't think we can chase into this. We'll switch. Um, you guys stay here. You guys stay here. We got one guy stuck here on the ground. Take flight, take flight. He's getting dragged back. Take flight. Can't, can't pull his mass. Literally dragging the whole unit back. Either he died or he flew up. Let's see if we can still kill him. Yeah, I can just route everyone, I think. They would route two. Alright, I gotta go after that group. Got two minutes left. We're not gonna kill off all of them because they're just not on the field at the same time. But we're definitely escorting this group off. Enemy reinforcement approaches. I don't know if we end up killing that or not. Kill that. We can just pile in. Oh, they all bounce back. Great. Alright, this time's for real. Right, it's a defeat for us because we're the attacking side that timed out, but I think it's only a defeat on paper. We might lose an item as punishment, but like obviously who took the most casualties is pretty apparent here. There's a whole group that didn't even commit to the fight because they didn't get their turn basically. They did okay. Could have been better. Right, hard to say that we lost there. And yeah, we can definitely go back and fight them again. I think even though our units are pretty beat, we're pretty healthy. We can also ambush them. Which would be pretty interesting as well. We might even get a pretty easy delegate, but regardless this episode's gone very long, so we're gonna end it here, come back next time. Hopefully clean out the Skavens. The scary news is Snitch is not here. There is one possibility where he is doing one of his missions, right? There's one that requires him. So maybe he's with the Night Lord and we can just wipe out his units, take his land and just be done with him and not fight him. But then we don't get his trait. So that's kind of disappointing. So we'll see what we can do there. Meanwhile, this is where he's actually here. I can actually get a trait from him. So we'll also keep eye out for that. So until next time, bye.